conclusion? You started with your background and then talked about your adult life and then what's going on now with your hobbies and your future goals. So I feel like that was, that was really well done. And then how you touched on your goals and your aspirations. And I feel like that's something you can identify with the school and everything. So very well done on that. Uh, just a couple things on improvement. And this is, again, for myself. I'm speaking for myself. And if you guys can uh, resonate with this as well. Uh, you you did cross your arms for a little while. And that's a defensive stance to kind of you're uncomfortable, so you're crossing your arms. It makes you uncomfortable, but then it's almost like a barrier between your audience and, and yourself. And then also, the same thing with the hands in your pocket. So this is something to watch for next time. You know, you're comfortable now, but at least you, you know about it. If anything, the hardest thing is just to stand in your own your, your arms. And, and I still like, I go like this all the time too, so if you guys watch me, like, wash my hands. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> So just that, and those were really the only big things. Maybe the outline, you try to stick to your outline, you know, maybe just step away from it, because it's your life, and, and you know your life better than anyone else. So maybe just try not to rely on that outline too much. But overall, great first speech. I feel like it gave us a great picture of who Andrew is, and we can all identify with that. And like Mark said earlier, we get to the privilege of that first speech. Uh, we could definitely see your comfort level go on. So, great first speech. Hope that there's many more. And with that, let's go ahead. Thank you, Troy, for the evaluation. Our final evaluator tonight is Derek. Derek evaluated how the speech. Without further ado, let's look at it.
the meeting went well. We started a few minutes late, but we're definitely working on it. It's definitely getting closer and closer to the regular schedule start time. It's nice to be in a regular location now instead of the back and forth clubbing, as we call it. It's <laughs> definitely nice to be in a regular spot. I love the educational spotlight using the iPad, showing how it works and everything. Sounds simple enough, the way Thomas explained it, the swipe, pushing of the button. I like the joke master, the villain, it's like appreciated by Alex, last minute, he steps it in. Very funny, but it's the point. The Marion, Wizard of Oz, did a great job, down here on uh, um, shows, double clutches, villain, as well as giving a good description of what the Marion Wizard of Oz does. I like Tom Mark went into more detail as to what qualifies as a violation. One thing I did notice from the timer, and I did the same thing when I started this as well, is once the speaker hits their minimum time and you wave the green, it should stay up until they go into the yellow, until the red. I didn't understand why at first either, but I quickly learned that it's to show the speaker for what they're doing. They may not necessarily see it if it's up for a second and then gone again. So having it stay up in clear sight for the duration of their speech goes a long way in helping them reach their constraints, knowing where they are. And I want to give another round of applause to all of our first timers tonight giving their icebreaker speeches. It takes a lot of courage. I think it's well deserved. Yeah. Thank you.